steak and apple pie. What is <laughs> I saved these. I've been waiting for this for years, the Sumiko Garashi Patisserie set. Sumiko Patisserie. And uh got it at last. Yeah. There, yeah, so cute. Look. Look, Fuji, Fuji san. Mmm. So cute. I love Samika Garashi. I've got the cafe. I've got um most of the ones I want now. All the ones I want now I think I've got, so yay. I love these big radio telescopes. I wonder where that is, just so against the Milky Way. Doesn't say where it is. I wonder if that's the one in West Virginia. Or oh, in the quiet zone. Probably not, I don't know, it doesn't say, but it just says radio telescope. That's lovely. Oh, that's lovely. Yet another new kettle. My friend's always mucking them up. The other one, you had to take the... He had like three red things down inside, looked like goldfish. And uh, you had to lift the top off, but let's see, if they light up, I at least he lights up to let you know he's on. Can you see the water in there? Uh... Now if anyone watches my videos regularly, you'll know that how much I always loved Thornton's Cafe, Cafe Thornton's. And I always try to recreate the wonderful lattes they used to give me in there. Well, I mean, I used to buy them, obviously, but I mean, you know what I mean. Piled up with cream, chocolate on top, and a free chocolate. They were delicious lattes. And then, of course, they closed. One became a Costa. The one in my local area became a Costa. Then another one that I used to be able to get, get to, wasn't too far away. That also closed a few couple of years later. And, um, and then I just saw I used to go to Starbucks, and now my local Starbucks is gone. And now this heartbreaking news that Thorntons are closing all their shops as well so the few remaining cafes in the country like the lovely one in, in Liverpool that'll be gone so that won't open again it's so heartbreaking I mean Costa are keeping going and the McDonald's are keeping going so why not Thorntons of course I used to like their colour scheme it was maroon and cream and it looked so cosy and then it was taken over by Ferrero Rocher in 2015 and then it started to go downhill they changed the colour scheme of my the one I I mean after the other one shut down um and the, there was only one left I could get to it was a I had to travel to it I couldn't just walk to it but um it was you know not too far for me to get to and um they changed the colour scheme to purple and white and it just wasn't as nice and it was it was like that less than a year and then they closed down completely and the week before the the girl that served me who was new there she said oh no this one is never going to close because I said I'm always worried it's going to close and then a week later they said we've got bad news it's going to close heartbreaking oh I don't know and I mean I know I know I know it's only a coffee shop and there's a terrible things going on in the world I know that but they were hot in the high streets for more than 100 years the, the, the um, Thornton's shops and uh, it's just something, you know, that I used to look forward to it every week. And when you don't, when you've got all kinds of phobias and you can't travel, like I can't, that was some one thing I used to do that I looked forward to. It was the highlight of the week. And, uh, you yeah, that's how sad my life is. And uh, I try not to let it be sad. That's why I take an interest in collecting dolls and things. But, you know, it's just another, I don't know. I, I just love Thornton's. I... Happy memories from I knew all the staff by name. It was uh, just something I look forward to, and uh, it used to keep me going for the rest of the week. I'd come out after my half an hour in there as they were closing, because I was always the last one in. And I'd, as I came out, I'd be looking forward to the next week when I'd go there. Ah, <sighs> so yeah. And if I talked to my friend about it, he says, oh, I don't care. I don't care about that bloody plane. Don't, don't bother me. He says, well, of course it doesn't, because it doesn't bother him. No, so I'm expected to not care, and I'm, you know, laughed at for it. But if it was something that meant something to him and he was upset about it, the whole world would be expected to rally round in sympathy. That's the difference. Here's the kettle he's got. I wonder how long this one will last. The last one was Russell Hobbs, which is a good... He never... He, he doesn't look after things. 
I mean, this little heater down here is in a terrible state. I keep trying to clean it every so often, but next minute I look at it and it's the same again, and all dust in it, and, and he kicks it around. It's, and I'm very careful with it, and I've, I've tried my best to clean it off, because it's useful when it's cold here in the winter, in this ramshackle place, but I don't know, he just doesn't take any care of anything. This is a nice picture too, this is Green Park in London. It's a little nice, like a Christmas card. This was the Woodland Trust calendar from last year, the January picture. That would make a lovely Christmas card, wouldn't it? Very nice. I had a noise by the side of me and a worm had fallen down onto this bag and there was a spider, that spider up there, that spider was coming down. So I don't know where the worm suddenly came from and the spider thought it was some sort of food so I'm going to have to put, rescue the spider, I mean the worm, and put it outside. And the spider, I'm sure wouldn't have eaten a worm anyway, but you never know with spiders. Always oh, there's, there's a slow thing. Oh, where's all these things coming from? Hi, primroses. Aren't they lovely? Just growing on a wall. I've got myself some very, very lovely little pipes here. And what have I got in my poo bag today? Let's find out, shall we? Right, I haven't got my coffee this week. I've got a reduced quiche Lorraine. Strawberry organic fermented yogurt. Blueberries. Honey and ginger there, and the black currant one. I'm not going to show you all the vegetables, but I think it's you won't want to see them anyway. But I've got spinach, kale, leeks, carrots, baby potatoes, red onions. Pointed cabbage, broccoli, carrots, organic bananas, cauliflower, nice broc um, cauliflower, red onions, perfectly ripe avocados. We've got the cartoon tuna, the five beans, and a tuna in a jar in olive oil. The one in olive oil is the nicest. I always get it olive oil. Good for you. Wild Pacific red salmon and blueberry muffins. And we've got some cream on. I've got some of these. Unfortunately they're not doing the Heston large eggs anymore. I did ask. They hadn't done them this year. And I got some more of these because these are absolutely delicious. Some of the Tyrrell's vegetable crisps. Unfortunately, you can't get the parsnip crisps anymore. They were my favourites. I know they have parsnip ones in here, but there was an, there was an actual bag of parsnip crisps. They were lovely. And, oh, naked people alert, naked people alert. Oh, big complaints, naked people alert. But, um, Tyrrell's naked crisps. And no, they're not put behind a barrier in Waitrose. They're actually on full display so everyone can see. But on YouTube might have a bit of a problemo. <laughs> you have to laugh. Or you'd cry. I told myself I wasn't going to do these anymore, these very mundane hauls to show people. Because I didn't think they were interested. But um, this is, I've not had this actual one before. Strawberry organic fermented yoghurt. I mean, I've had it in drink form, but not in the tub. And they're nice, and they're good for you. Oh, little tea. They've got a bigger one this time. <laughs> got some McVitie's Club. Mint. I was looking for Viscount biscuits. They didn't have any. Make those. I've got some of these. Peppermint filling. It's quite nice. My two usual... Usual Nider Eggers. Sweet and smoking hippies. So the madeleines as usual. Ah. Whisper. 
are in these four Lindor. They, they don't sell these at Waitrose. They sell the other varieties in the Lindor, but they don't sell the mint one. Well, these four I got from the cart the other day. They've been in my bag all this time. Free Waitrose weekend magazine. Some interesting stuff. The free Waitrose other magazine, which uh, usually has lots of our. Uh, you get it free, and that's interesting. And I know I had this one last week, but um, some of these cakes, they just look so lovely. I like looking at pictures of, not so much those sort, but um, look at that, that looks nice. That looks lovely. Oh, they do look nice. Yeah, that's the one that's on the back. This is the cakes, but some of the cakes, wait, because that one looks quite nice as well. Oh, look, this one's like a beehive. Like a skep, but those skeps were cruel because they used to have to smoke the bees out. I mean the bees, bees to get them out and kill the bees to get the honey, which um obviously I don't approve of. That's pretty. Is this celebrating apple um blossom time? Ah, looking at the cakes. Oh, that one's that one looks nice, doesn't it? They make such lovely pictures as well. Lots of keen on chocolate cake. I, I like that. Looks nice. Party on a plate. That does look nice. So yeah, this is quite funny. DJ Lionel Vinyl is in the hive. <laughs> Why do bees hum? <laughs> Forgotten the words. Oh, that's funny. I like these. My friend saved these for me to look at. It's about David Attenborough, Life Preserver, and Charles saying, help us heal our planet. But, unfortunately, you're preaching to the converted. Because the majority in my area just don't care. So, you know, unless the government bring in laws to make it illegal to destroy existing gardens, for example, it'd just go on getting worse. There's smoke coming out up there, coming right over here, of course, from that bloody chimney. I have it opposite me, I have to breathe it all in from opposite me. When I walk up the road at night, I go in stinking of it. And then it's coming out of that chimney there, and uh, drifting over here. It's not much at the moment, but it was quite thick just now. I can't get away from flaming smoke. I've got it right opposite me from that little low chimney that comes right across to my house and then I come down to my friend's house and the house joined on to him has smoke from the chimney and it comes into his house as well so everywhere, I, if I'm at my house I'm breathing in smoke and if I'm at his house I'm breathing in smoke and I've got nowhere else I can go to get away from it Oh isn't that cute, look that little rabbit look at our funding short for her cruelty free international yeah, these awful experiments on these poor animals. Isn't that cute, though? Look at that dear little rabbit. That's so sweet. Oh, oh, cuteness. Isn't that cute? Yeah, I got this from, um, from... Because I have sensitivity, so I have to use this. <laughs> Look, this is the one I like, really, though, from Poundland. Look at that. You get twice the size in this one, so you know I've progressed. I've gone up to three to five years now <laughs> for weight rows. This one, <laughs> so sweet. I, I I think I like this one best. <laughs> Here's Bernadette. In um, that looks nice on her, that mermaid. But um, I did try it on because it's got the blue and pink. I thought it goes with her colour scheme, but um. I did try it on Erin here and it looks nice on her, so there's her with her new outfit, but um, I might let her have it because even though it's for a curvy it does fit her, but I've tried other things on her that's meant for a curvy and um, they would just looked far too big, but this one, unless of course Bernadette might have stretched it now because she's wearing it, but um, see that mermaid, that cute, with pink hair because she's got pink hair, pink hair streak. Okay, so Bernadette's got her original dress, well, her other dress back on there that I've given her. That looks nice on her, I think. Very nice. And uh, as you can see, this dress does suit Erin. 
So it goes with her colour scheme, I think. Then I should thank you. And uh, it's not so stretched out. The mermaid looks nicer. There, I'll put it on the macro setting now, so hopefully you can see that a bit ni better, easier, nicer. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that sort of suits her, I think. It goes with that colour scheme of orange. So that's rather nice. Something else for the doll. And here's Devon in her new attire for now. So that looks okay. That's what goes with her colour scheme. And our baby Shan here has got a new outfit as well. Looking nice. Looking pretty. Hi. All gone in her new dress and baby sham in hers, but never mind about that for now. I got some of these today from the co-op. So yes, I got a lovely box of chockies from the co-op. Look, the uh, Thornton's classic. That's my favourite, the, the white chocolate, and that's my second favourite in the middle. And um, I also like that one. I like them all, but those are my favourites. And they always have less of those. But And I noticed something else about these delicious ones. I won't open it now because the chockies go all over the place. But look, the attention to detail on the... Where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Attention to detail under the, on the side of the box. I was, where is it? I bet no one will even notice this. I didn't notice until just now. Look, the horses are on the side as well. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that nice? Look at that. I bet most people won't even notice this because it's inside. You see, and that gets covered up by the top. I'm keeping this box. It's lovely. It's like a lacquer box. And uh, the attention to detail release cacao. So, yeah. That's on the side as well. If you're artistic, you see, you notice these sort of things. Hey, Morgana. My small makeshift line did. So, um, I got woken up early this morning after about an hour's sleep, and I got woken up about quarter to nine or twenty to nine this morning by the refrigerated truck outside, as usual. Well, Trying to do another Dolls in the Garden video for my original channel for the garden series of the Dolls, but it's not easy. What was a smell of smoke coming from the chimney and the troublesome neighbours? And which are all well, at least the noisy ones are in today, which is something. But then I've got that was an old man at the top up a ladder peering over the fence at me at the top behind me and commenting because he saw me photographing the Dolls. And he started saying he had a dustpan and brush on his top of his shed and it had fallen into the garden or some nonsense. I don't know, I understand it. Well, there's loads of some of the smoke coming out now. It doesn't sh look show very much, admittedly, but it's all coming in this direction. It always does. And then up where I live, smoke comes out of the chimney opposite me and it comes right towards my house and c came up my path once and we just had to run for cover. It's absolutely disgusting. Well, that's not even hardly anything, and yet the smell from it is atrocious. I'm trying to rescue this stupid moth. I'm using Zagara again in the bath tonight. Mm. Right, I'm. Yeah, this is my Zagara. <laughs> Scooters not allowed to ride them on the pavement. God, but you you see loads of people riding them on the pavement. Well, in my area, you do anyway. They just don't care. I've seen two people on them, 
they go along in the middle of the night on the things. So yeah, it depends where you are, I suppose. What sort of people you've got responsible people and in a more civilised sort of country, then yeah, maybe they are ridden really responsibly, but yeah. What's this? Right, this is a magnet. Let's have a look at her. Oh, she's lovely. Oh, I've got one of these at Waitrose. Sorry if you can hear a lot of noise. There's a lot of rough type people nearby. There always is nowadays. A nice lot of jelly in here. Lovely lot of jelly. You know, I love the jelly in these things. Look at all this lovely jelly. Delicious. Oh, that's my fav favourite part of the jelly and the white and then the egg and then the pastry and then the meat last poor animal was ever died. Oh, this is lovely. Just I've got this upside down so it's got some on the top now. I like these. Just an egg. No, it's not Mount Fuji, but it's snow. It's Bon Mamon, Baba Al Rum. Quite nice. Cakes from Waitrose. Hardcore tuna in olive oil. Extra virgin. red salmon. I've also got pink salmon with the pepper and lemon, whatever. Black, black pepper and lemon and mackerel. Collective, collective kefir coconut. Kefir strawberry. Honey and ginger and two of these because I'm hoping they're going to be like the slint snowflake. They've got white centres. There's an oh dear. Look at the cuteness. It reminds me of some of the bushy things. I've got a girl talk because there's three slime and pencil and the look look. Look. Oh, shall we look at him later. Oh, isn't that cute? Now watch. <laughs> oh, that's a little squishy. Oh, we've got beads that come out. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh, a little spider's back that lives outside my door. I haven't seen him for a while. He's come in tonight and there he is. That's nice. I suppose because it's slightly milder. So, he's back. A little spider's back. Hmm. I don't know what sort these are. But they're outside there. In there all the winter, every so often he disappears and then he's back again. <laughs> yeah. My surreal filming camera. <laughs> it does this in low light conditions. It slows right down. <laughs> this is a lovely colour, this pink. I won't dwell too much on it because other people have reviewed her far better than I can. I've, I've only seen three reviews that I've actually watched, as, as Zoo says, and um, then poor Melissa from My World. She was so upset because she was so careful opening the package, but one of the doll's earrings broke. And um, 
so that was a shame. So I should have to be extra careful. And I saw Jeffrey Steinman three. I was being very careful how I undid it. I was able to preserve the box. Now I've just got to because I fed everything through the slots. But um, we've got to get this contraption off her now. So I'll undo that ribbon, and I don't want those earrings to get damaged. Sorry about the surreal filming. I'll put another, a different memory card in to film the rest at another time. Isn't she lovely? Well, I don't believe it. One of the rhinestones has just fallen out. Now, luckily it fell into the box, but the, this one, trying to reattach these earrings is a nightmare. The one that goes there, I'm going to have to stick it with super glue. Oh, honestly, if I fancy making something that's so difficult to get off. I'm sorry. Well, that was a hell of a job and a half, but I did it. Thank you, super glue. And I got some on her face and had to and it dried and had to scrape it off with those scissors. I mean, my goodness. But I thought, I'm going to do it anyway. I've cleaned it off her face and you can't see it now because it had dried on and left a little small, a slight mark, which looked a bit glossy. In a way, I wish I'd left the plastic one because super glue does leave a slight whitish mark, but um, but at least it's stuck it back in place. I don't think the PVA wood glue would have done such a good job because it doesn't stick metal that well. Not as good as the super glue. There's a load of smoke coming out of that chimney right opposite me now. And this is, you know, uh, I, I can't get away from smoking chimneys anywhere I go. It's been far worse than this before as well. This is very mild compared to what it's often like. And suddenly when it comes right over here, it comes right up my path. My house stinks of it. Everything stinks of it. I'm having the, well, the rumbar or whatever you call that with some cream and some blueberries. And my kefir. Cloud looks nice up there. In the evening. Looks quite nice. Look at this cute little light I got from the 99 pence store when they were open years ago. Cute little light. Look. <laughs> cute. Like an angle poise lamp looks like an angle poise lamp. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> and it also has got a thing that can clip onto a book if you're reading a book at night. So that's so cute. I had some things I brought home tonight. My haul from Waitrose yesterday. My extraordinary chocolate hen's eggs. Heston, no doubt. There we go, from Waitrose. Looks really nice. And uh, there we go. They look rather nice. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, these from Waitrose, they look jolly nice, don't they? Well, I could eat one now. What are they called, Waitrose? Easter Simnel Spiced Cupcakes. So, yeah. I've had this for a long time, but um, I had brought him back because uh, it was at my friend's house and one of my Pickford's super haulers, Corgi, Corgi Trucks. Head massager from the dear old 99 pence store that was. I'm on a nice little glow in the dark torch. These from Rake Clothes. Oh, what's this? Acetopyl alcohol. 
And this is nice. I can't remember where that came from. Isn't that lovely? That's really pretty. Yeah, you're not kidding. It's cold. And two Nida Eggers. And two of these hand sanitizer gels, the Life Boy. I like these, they smell nice. And yeah, these ones they a lot on, hoping they're going to be. It says a creamy white filling, so I hope they're going to be the same as the Lint Snowflake. And this look, this little thing comes out of the base, like so. And then you can attach it to a book, and also it's like an angle poise lamp. You can change how it. You know, the po position of it, like, so, like he is, and, uh, oh, that's jolly good. Mm. Right, look, as I've, I've shown you the, those, <laughs> I don't know why I bother, but I'm, just in case anyone's interested, and then I've got this as well. Isn't that pretty? It's difficult to show it because, um, What's that swimming around in there? It's a uh, unicorns. Aren't they cute? So there's two of these things to go with in dim light here, but let me try and show you again. It's such a lovely colour. And there's this one. Isn't that pretty? This one's got like little hearts in it. It's not picking up the proper colour, which is a shame, but there you go. This one came from a department store, maybe in Debenhams or something, a few years back. I can't remember. But isn't it lovely? It's a department store, anyway. Well, that's useful. The ice popper alcohol will go in there. Sorry if I've got one pair of hands. There we go. Yeah, fits in there quite nicely. That's such a pretty colour. I wish the camera could is not capable of picking it up. It's lovely. Mm. It's cute, isn't it? Mm, it is. <laughs> and my corgi super haulers. I've got tankers. I like the tankers as well. The I like the you know, with oil. And the curtain ciders. Smoking. Pickford's the careful movers. I've got quite a few of these. I love these. Um, maybe oh, there's a tanker. Look, Kit Kat. I've got that Kit Kat one. I've got a post office one. I am not showing. Yeah, there's a post office. No, that's no. It's not. Yeah, it is Royal Mail. And uh, this is 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 that? Uh, no, that's Cadbury. No, I've got an Esso one. And you know. So, um, yeah, I like those. I'll put these up there. I think it's quite good the way I've arranged that there. <laughs> I'm absolutely, totally lack organisational skills, don't I, Ling and Leo? I try my best, though. I really do. That's Luke. <laughs> Right, let me open these and see what they like. Oh, we've got nice gold wrapping, wrappings. Oh, look at them. They look fancy. Oh, these are nice. And there they are. Do you like the rustling? We've got marzipan tops. I mean, marzipan little balls on top, apparently. Don't they look nice? 